Mark II Lancer Assault Rifle has become the staple of the Gears franchise and has become an iconic weapon in its own right. It serves as the primary and standard weapon of the COG army. It has served on multiple battlefields and has served through many of the games as the player's main choice of weapon. It was an upgrade to its predecessor, the Mark I. It boasted increased accuracy, lower recoil and a larger ammunition clip. It was designed by Professor Adam Jonathan Phoenix during the first year of the Locust War. The Lancer's long service record was a result of its rugged reliability and reputation as a versatile assault rifle. Although intended for mid-range combat, the Lancer was also affected at long-range engagements due to its increased accuracy and low recoil. Its popularity as the go-to rifle wasn't just limited to the COG soldiers. Despite the existence of a Locust Horde counterpart to Lancer, the Hammer Burst Assault Rifle, the Locusts have been known to use the Lancer. Some Theron guards and drones were reported to have used the Lancer against COG gears during combat. Even though the rifle is renowned for its ruggedness and reliability, it has been known from time to time to jam during combat. You good? Yeah, but I got a problem. Something's wrong with this thing. It keeps jamming. See? Moving on to the most iconic part of the Mark II Lancer assault rifle, the fixed chainsaw bayonet. However, during the early stages of the Locust War, the Lancer still held a standard knife as its bayonet. This proved difficult in close quarter combat, as the knife wasn't strong enough to pierce through the Locust's thick hides. The conception of using a chainsaw as a bayonet was first conceived when Marcus Phoenix led a small recon team to Janamont to investigate reports of a Locust emergence. They engaged a small group of drones in hand-to-hand -hand combat in a supermarket. However, the squad almost lost the battle due to the fact that their knife bayonets were useless against the Locust armor and their thick hides. It actually happened when Marcus was pinned to the ground by a Locust. Ty then found a discarded power saw in a hardware aisle and used it to kill the drone by shoving it deep into his spine, cutting it through his up his chest and cleaving it in two. After this discovery, the fact that a chainsaw can easily cut through the thick hides, Marcus returned to his father to give his idea of using a chainsaw bayonet as opposed to the normal standard knife. Alan Phoenix soon produced a prototype rifle. However, this design required a complete redesign of the internals of the rifle to accommodate the chainsaw blade and the new drive system, but nevertheless it became a success and entered mass production. The chainsaw consists of razor sharp carbon tipped blades powered by a variable torque motor and is capable of shredding an enemy in seconds. The individual blades are very enough to withstand the force of another chainsaw bearing down on them. However, despite the fact that the chainsaw is very effective, it takes great amounts of skill to wield the bayonet efficiently, without the actual user harming or killing themselves in the process. Mastered correctly, the skills required can mean victory over a chainsaw duel with a lancer-wielding locust. The rifle doesn't come without its drawbacks, however. Due to the fact of its complex design, and the fact that there's a chainsaw mounted onto it, it makes field stripping the weapon more complicated because of the motor, chain and cogs driving the saw. Another downside is the fact that during the chainsaw's primary function of cutting through enemies, it meant the chainsaw was liable to jam and clog up after overuse in battle, which causes huge disadvantages while in close combat. This also made it very hard to clean after the fact. A more recent variant of the assault rifle has appeared in the recent Gears of War 4, this custom lancer, made by Marcus Phoenix, had several design changes, such as a more angular position magazine without a lock well, a slightly longer barrel, and extra affiliation lights placed around the weapon. In addition, a more rearward ejection port was added, a wooden stock, and a flashlight attached to the right of the barrel. Like its predecessor, it has the integrated chainsaw bayonet. The Mark II Lancer Assault Rifle has seen its fair share of action throughout the Gears franchise, from the first instalment to the most recent one. It has been an integral part of the gameplay and a much loved weapon by fans, and it will continue to be this iconic weapon in the upcoming instalments of Gears of War.